Can common foods and spices added to our diet have health benefits? Well, Mary from Tamarack will tell us a little bit more about that. So Mary, what are some common herbs and spices that we can add to our diet to get health benefits? Though, well, there's so many. Um, a good place to start is maybe with the spices. For example, um, cinnamon is very, very good for people who have diabetes. It helps regulate sugar. Celery is very good for um, reducing blood pressure and strengthening arterial walls. Cayenne is really good for boosting your metabolism, and it can actually aid in digestion for some people. It facilitates weight loss. So we're talking about cooking with herbs. Now, does it... Um, is it sometimes better to like eat these raw? Can you use some of these herbs and spices as flavoring on raw fruits and vegetables? Sure, there's so many different ways you can use them. For example, um, garlic. Garlic can certainly be used um, as a flavoring on its own. Some people roast garlic and eat it. Some people take it as a supplement. It can be good for cholesterol, cardiovascular health. It's antifungal, antibacterial, so it's got a lot of different attributes. Um, you can take things in tea form, supplement form, tincture, uh, you can take the leaves cut and sifted and make a tea out of them. Endless possibilities. Now we have an example of some ginger here. How can we use that in a various ways? Ginger is very, very good for soothing your stomach. Not only is it a really nice flavor addition for a lot of your foods, but if you have an upset stomach, ginger is a great way to treat nausea. Even a lot of cancer patients who are suffering with nausea will have ginger tea or ginger candy sliced. Um, works very, very well. Now what are tinctures and how can we use those? Tinctures are when you take the herb and you put them into a liquid form, and some herbs lend themselves better to that format. You can have a water-based tincture or you can have an alcohol-based tincture. And some people get a little bit um, worried when they hear it's alcohol, but to be honest with you, it's probably about as much alcohol as a fermented banana. So it's, it's just a way of preserving the herb. Now, it's probably better for us to get these in their natural form, but you also have supplements too? We have supplements, and if you do buy herbs, it's always good to look for organic. That means there's been no chemicals, no fertilizers, no genetic modification of any of the plants. And certainly you can take it in a supplement form, particularly if you're trying to get a large amount. For example, if you're taking cinnamon to try and balance your blood sugar, you would have to ingest so much cinnamon that it would be difficult for you to get what you need. But if you're having just a cup of tea and you put a cinnamon stick in it, it's a great way to balance your blood sugar. It's a nice flavor. It's healthy for you, and it's... It's fun. So adding herbs and spices to your diet may result in a healthier you. For Shaw TV, I'm Ann Gordonaire.